Hey everybody, Fifth Horseman here. Playing more Kerbal Space Program. We've got a new plane. Uh, I have unlocked these wing part type things and I put some control surfaces on them. I made sure my center lift was slightly behind my center of mass. I put some batteries on here. I've also got some science. Uh, I've got the gravioli, the uh, barometer, and there's a thermometer tucked way back here. And I can test them all by going F1 and I can just say send it send it and send it oh and a crew report send that too well that was the gravity sensor but there's four things total that it sends and then i've got battery i've got uh batteries charged up here so that i can send the stuff um i've also got solar panels so that uh, the batteries will recharge even if i don't have the engine going and this is i've called this short range sciencer i don't know its range exactly cuz i don't know how to how to um compute range based on delta v <laughs> for for an airplane yet but uh, the idea here is to um send this guy around to different places hit hit five and then transmit 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 the data and see what we get and then at the end i'm going to try to go to a um uh go to a mountain either over here or maybe this big mountain that you can't see that i always want to go to that's way over there or I'm going to be flying over to the desert today, probably, so I'm going to do that. But basically, when I get run low on fuel or out of fuel, I can decouple this and hit this parachute, and all the science is still on the cockpit, so we can take our science reading landed somewhere. That's the idea. Um, we're going to take the brakes off. I've never flown this, by the way. This is, this is the very first time this has ever been on the runway. I have no idea what's going to happen when I hit the space bar. In three, two, one, go! <laughs> And we've got something happening. It should take off fairly quickly. Keyword being should. I don't know if these struts are necessary. It felt like they were. Okay, I was kind of expecting to take off by now. Oh, well, there we go. Landing gear up. Newzor is in the cockpit. We're going to turn a bit. No sense waiting. Because we're going right. We're going out over the water here. Actually, let's do this. Yeah, see, we're, we're gaining science. Or science. We're gaining electric charge, even though it says minus. I guess minus means you're doing it. Okay, let's do an F5 over water. We're going to transmit, transmit, transmit. Gravity scan can't be done right now. I don't know why a gravity scan couldn't be done right now. Seems like something you could do. But yeah, we got tons of liquid fuel in this thing. Only two engines. I think two engines is fine. Okay, we are done transmitting our data. So let's hit five again. Okay, this is worth nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, so they're, those are useless scans now. Um... But uh, this is going to be kind of a boring mission, <laughs> as far as watching it is concerned. Because I'm going to be spending a lot of time doing what you're seeing right now, and that is flying. Um, I'll pitch up a little bit here. But uh, yeah, I have no idea how far this thing's going to go, but I'm, going to, I'm planning on uh, trying to take these readings in various places. And... Uh, Landing in various places, because I think I can do that. And just seeing what happens when I when I do it. So, uh, so yeah, I think what I'm going to do is is I'm going to stop recording in a minute here. Once we get over the, uh, the shore here, I assume we're... Oh, we're over shores now. I guess we were over shores before. So let's reset, reset, reset. We weren't actually over the water. Not a big deal. But uh, once we get over this uh, area here where ideally we'll see some more trees, because there's trees over there, which implies that's perhaps not shores. And I'm also curious how much uh, time warp when I can do. Apparently two is fine. It's a little shaky, so I'm not going to try three. But we're over land, so let's hit five. Uh, Kerbin's Grasslands. Okay, let's uh, transmit. 
Uh, hey, I can see my house from here, I think. <laughs> Let's uh, reset that. And... We've apparently gotten that one before, maybe. I don't know. But that's grassland. We should uh, possibly see some trees here coming up. Let's try three times. Still doing okay. Let's hit five. Uh, highlands. Let's go ahead and transmit, transmit, and recycle that. Slow down our... Whoa! <laughs> There's a lot of biomes right near Kerbal Space Center, which is kind of nice. I'm pretty happy with my plane, to be honest with you. Newzor seems to be a pretty good pilot, even though he can't see anything. <laughs> Five here, Highlands again. These are worth nothing. In theory, I think I can, uh, if I'm getting ready to land, I'm going to try this. Um, I think Nuzor can get out of his plane and grab the experiments that were taken while flying and store them in the cockpit. Kerbin's Highlands still. Reset those. Not sure where you need to be for him to count his mountains, but apparently it's not here. I bet over there is mountains. <laughs> Let's give him a try here. But what I think I can do is is uh, take a reading when I know I'm going to land. I can take a reading and... Uh, Kerbin's Mountains! Transmit, transmit. Yeah, I transmitted that one even though it wasn't worth anything. What is MF? Mono, oh, monopropellant. Yeah, I took the monopropellant out of my, uh, out of my tank. Oops, city lights through the mountains. I thought they fixed that. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna basically head over the desert. I'm gonna take these scans every once in a while. Uh, when I get closer to the desert, I am going to uh, be back. So I will uh, I guess I'll see you there. <laughs> I thought this was a pretty dramatic shot. <laughs> kind of cool looking. Uh, the problem is, oh look at that city down there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I've never seen the cities from this close. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm I'm actually having a, a slight problem in that uh, I'm actually, the sun is chasing me, and I think I'm flying faster than it, which seems kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, I launched at sunrise, and it's still quite a ways away, and I just realized I need to be flying a lot farther north. But I wanted to be over water anyway, so. No biggie. Three times acceleration seems perfectly fine. Uh, I haven't tried four yet. I guess I'll try it with you here. Um, yeah, way too wobbly in my for my taste. Okay, anyway, um, I will see you later. Okay, I'm uh, cutting my engines here. I'm almost at half fuel, so I guess I was right that this is a uh, low-range <laughs> sciencer. But I'm cutting my engines. I'm I'm nine kilometers in the air. I could apparently go higher, and that's probably wise. Because I figure less less air resistance is better. However, I'm coming in. I would like to land uh, down here on the desert and uh, get some science for it. So that's my that's my goal currently. Apparently we need a little bit of thrust to keep the, the plane going. There we go. <laughs> Because we were going 300 meters per second. Now we're already dropped to almost half that. So apparently we need to keep the thrust going a little bit longer. But uh, yeah, we're definitely going faster than the sun. So I think I'm going to wait till it's around eh, at least at least mid-morning. Because I, if I remember correctly, Kerbal, uh, 
Kerbal Space Center 2 is north of the desert somewhere. Never actually been there. Um, nor have I looked it up on a map or anything like that. Because that would be cheating. But yeah, there's no fuel here. These guys are draining. I've only got five fuel tanks on this thing. I probably could have brought more. But I didn't want to be too greedy. Throttle it down. Yeah, I think we can we can start our descent here. Probably bring up the landing gear. And I'm pretty sure this whole place is desert. I don't know that for a fact, but we'll find out when we land. <laughs> Probably could have put some lights on this guy. And I'm also noticing that uh, the temperature scan gives us different biomes. But, uh, the, and do, as does the crew report, but the atmospheric scan and the gravioli, gravioli just can't be done in flight. And the temperature scan only works while flying at Kerbin, which doesn't really help a lot. Okay, we're coming down pretty well. I'm actually going to aim it down a little bit. I really do wish that there was more sunlight. Look, the sun is actually set behind us. We have beat the sun <laughs> to the desert continent, which is kind of crazy. A five here. Oh, Kerbin's Deserts. Let's go ahead and send that and send that. And that's worth nothing. Yeah, I'm just going to cut the engines. We're going to coast all the way to the ground here. It's eerily quiet. I really wish that Kerbal Engineer worked. Um, apparently, airplane cockpits don't count as command pods for my thing. Or an update I did has caused it to not... Uh, has caused it to not um, work. But I'm watching my vertical velocity here. And I know it has to stay under 10. And my horizontal velocity is already under 50. Or it's, well, it's not under 50, but it's close to 50. So I'm not really that concerned about that. I think I can just coast in as long as the ground is fairly flat. Which, let's say it is. Shall we? <laughs> okay, these are worth no more transmitted science. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep this data. Don't need this. We're going to keep this data. And then when we land, Newzor is going to get out and collect that data, presumably to store it in the, um, in the cockpit when the time comes. We're coming down. We're still right around 10 meters per second. I'm actually going to tilt it up a little bit. Also, also slow us down a bit here. Looks fairly flat. We're coming in fairly flat. I'm going to put the brakes on. And the clouds, the cloudy sky is dark. The sun is going to rise pretty soon. Yeah, we are coming down. You can actually see the ground, which is always nice. The point of this flight, though, is to be able to take off again. So I want to I wanna land as gently as I possibly can. I have no idea what my <laughs> altitude over the terrain is, but based on the look of the terrain, we're getting pretty close. I'm just pitching up to, uh, I want to be going as slow as I possibly can when we land here. Oh boy. And we landed, and we're stopping. Ha ha ha! They said Newzor couldn't do it. Okay, we got we got a bonus here. Extend the ladder. Look at that. Newzor, you have a ladder. 
<laughs> okay, he's getting out, and he's on the wrong side. Oh, well. Uh, let's see if we can collect this data. We don't want to grab, so he must not have any data. So let's see if we can collect this data. No. I thought we could collect data from stuff. Take data from the thermometer. Oh, it must have been a crew report and the thermometer. So that's all we can do. We took the data from the thermometer. Now we're going to store that experiment. Now we're going to take an EVA report. We are going to keep it, and we're going to store it. And then we are going to get back in the cockpit. And then we are going to do an F or a 5 to take more science. And we're going to... Uh, we're going to keep these as well. Keep this data, keep this data, keep this data, and now we're going to EVA again, <laughs> and then we're going to take this data, and then we're going to take this data, which we still can't take. Gravioli detector, we were able to take the gra Gravioli detector data. Apparently, the barometer, you cannot take the data. So we're going to store these experiments. Now we're going to let go. <laughs> we are going to do a surface sample here. We're going to keep it. We are going to do an EVA report. We are going to keep it. We are not going to plant a flag, but we are going to walk around here and get on our ladder. And, seriously, he he's not going to be able to get back in his plane. <laughs> well, he can store the experiments in the plane, at least. Okay, we have found our first... <laughs> I'm trying to... Okay. Well, I can't do anything. I'm sure I'm not the first person to have this problem, but it's an annoying problem to have. He he can't... Actually, let's try something here. It... <laughs> Can he jump right at the end here? No. Okay, well, I guess that's it. Good job. Good job, Newzor. You landed somewhere. I guess we should probably test the ladder uh, on the launch pad. But let's go ahead and recover this plane and see how much science this gives us. That's annoying. Should be a decent amount. We had like 200 and some odd, and we just got... 33? Really? I guess we transmitted most of it. I guess we had 300. Well, let's go ahead and bring Nuzo home. Recover him. Yeah, he was worth nothing. Let's see how much we transmit. Actually, no, the 300 is what we transmitted, so it probably was 200. So that flight was worth not very much, to be honest with you. But we have four things owed to us. We can probably buy one more. Uh... And we're, we're drilling into the science. The more science, the better. 345, and we, ha we have 345. So we can actually buy this one, which will give, just give us more science. So I think we're going to do that. So now we can buy three after uh, the next successful mission, which this one, I guess, kind of was. <laughs> but we won't count it. Uh, mostly because we only made it to the desert. We're going to fix our plane, and we're not going to take off until Nuzor can get back in it from the ground. First of all, we're going to put this here. Uh, somehow, there we go. And secondly, we're going to angle it... Oops. Actually, let's do Alt-Zero to reset it. Okay. Yeah, the rotation on this does not match what my brain thinks the rotation should be. So we're going to do this, then we're going to angle it 
every way but the right way. Okay, I'm going to angle it outward a little bit. Like that, with the assumption that he can continue. So let's save it. And oh, actually, while we're here, let's add our new science to it. Uh, don't know a good place to put this. Kind of running out of room here. <laughs> Works for me. Uh, action group five. Log seismic data. Okay. Save it and lock. Okay, the brakes are on. The ladder is coming down. Jeb, our test pilot, is going to try it here. He was able to just go right from... Oh, he just fell through the planet. <laughs> Look at... <laughs> 666. Jeb has gone to hell. Uh, let's revert this flight to launch and try this again. Yeah, I think I broke the game. Let's uh, revert the flight to the space plane hangar. There we go. Okay, we're going to add an engineer part to this. Shows important craft attributes during building and lacks the flight engineer to save costs. Shows important craft during building and flight. Com combines the build engineer and flight engineer via magnetic tape technology that enables speeds of at least this... So what's the difference between this and this? I don't know. I'm just gonna put I'm gonna put this one on because I know what it does. I'm gonna put it right there. <laughs> okay, save it and you know what? I wanted more fuel. I wanted more fuel. See if I put fuel here, this is a structural fuselage. If I put fuel here, it screws up my all my balances. I'm gonna not. I'm not gonna screw it. And I wonder if Jeb is dead. Jeb isn't dead. But the planet is encased in blackness and night. And I can't stage my ship. I can't recover it. So we are going to abort this whole thing. We might have to exit the game and go back in. Oh yeah, look, there's, <laughs> there's nothing here. There's nothing here. Um, yeah, we're going to exit the game. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I had to completely exit the game and come back in. So, uh, yeah, that's crazy. Um, we are going to recover this just to make sure that it's fine. Then we're going to do short-range sciencer, and we are going to launch it. And we're going to try this again. We are going to wait for the ladder to completely extend before Jeb gets out. I don't know if that's what caused the problem. But I don't want to have to deal with it again, <laughs> if it did. I do not like that sound of decoupling that happened there. Uh, we should probably put the brakes on. We've also, I noticed, uh, the alarm clock. We're two minutes away from the Cerberus Mooner Sciencer getting into Moon's sphere of influence, which I'm assuming... Yeah, stored vessel ID no longer exists, so that's not actually a real alarm. So I'm just going to cl clear that alarm. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, I think it got a Mooner encounter w while it was setting up its arrow braking. Okay, so this ship I did save with the ladder on it. Let's just wait for it to be fully extended. Let us EVA. Let's try this, Jeb. Don't fall through the planet now. Nicely done. You got out of your plane. Uh, let's go ahead and take a surface sample. Hey, look at that. Nine science. Let's go ahead and keep it. And let's do an EVA report. Let's go ahead and keep that. Okay, let's test getting back on the ladder. Here's the important part. Can you get back in the cockpit? The answer is yes. Jeb's like, we could just take off right now. We could totally just take off right now. Let's test the science gathering capabilities of this. Seismic scans worth six science. Let's keep it. Uh, crew report. Not worth anything. Uh, this is worth something for some reason. Let's keep these. Oh, because we transmitted them. That's why. And Jeb. 
Tell you what. We're going to let you do something. You're not going to be doing very much here. Just as soon as your engines turn on. Your engines are going to turn on, right? <laughs> yeah, they, they need a certain amount of air intake, I think, to, to actually go. I wish these wheels had some sort of power to them so I could drive them like rover wheels. Oh, I know what the problem is. I'm a moron. Let me turn this down a little bit. Hey, I just staged. Just going to run this guy off the runway here. A little bit faster than I would personally prefer, but what are you going to do about that? <laughs> KSC, keep the data. Is that really all we can do? Oh, the Targetron. Let's check out our Kerbal Engineer. Oh, Kerbal Engineer still doesn't come up. Which is a little bit distressing. Uh, and when I hit 5, nothing happens now. And I also can't click on anything. I'm not time warped. <laughs> I think something is broken. Oh, there we go. Well, I can cl click on that. Five. See, when I hit five, nothing happens. But I can uh, take a crew report from here. Override existing crew report. No, I don't want to do that. Log gravity data. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm going to put the brakes on. And Jeb, you are getting out. You are going to take the data. Uh, where's that thermometer? Take the data. Okay, there's obviously nothing to take in there. Can I? No, I can't take that data either. So, but I can store the data. Is this unique? It is. Let's go ahead and keep it. We left our ladder, so we might as well get down here. Take a surface sample. Keep it. EVA report. Oh, cancel. Can I store from here? Can I get close enough without getting back on the ladder? <laughs> Apparently not. Why aren't you seeing that you're near a ladder? There. Oh. Store experiments. Store experiments. We've got seven datas in there now. Let's go ahead and let go. Oh. Let's try a new EVA report. There we go. Keep that data. Kind of a pain in the butt sometimes to get all this science, but get back on board the ship. Now I should be able, I should have seven stored datas. Let's see, 2.4, 9, 2.4, 3.8, 1.2. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so now we're going to recover because that was just the test. Still not 100% sure I like the limits on the science around here. But what are you going to do? 42.7. That's more than uh, Newsor got. <laughs> of course, Newsor couldn't get back in his plane. So, um, I'm going to count that as a, as a successful test, though. So, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna do what I did last time, basically. Except for not with Jeb. Newsor is a perfectly good pilot. He is going to... Look at that. Jeb hopping in the cockpit. Uh, Newsor is going to again launch. This time it's a little bit more daytimey. 
And uh, we're going to head for, uh, we're going to just go right over um, the desert. We're not going to pay that much attention to it. And we are going to head for the mountains north of the, north of the desert to hopefully get ourselves some science there. Uh, or find Kerbal Space Center 2. That's really what I want to do, is I want to land at Kerbal Space Center 2. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Landing gear up. <laughs> oh! This is really fun. Even though... I'm... <laughs> Even though I'm bad at it, it's very fun. Okay, bye-bye, everybody at Kerbal Space Center. Me and Newzor are heading out for some... Uh, actually, let's F5 right here. Uh, keep the data. Actually, I probably didn't want to keep that data. But anyway, yeah, this is going to be a long trip. So I will see you when uh, I'm over the desert. Helps if I turn the computer on. That's why I couldn't fly. I got distracted. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I should probably pull up, huh? Uh-oh. 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 Newsor, Newsor, what are you doing?